know what he's doing. <laughs> he's waiting for the bed to be made for him. He thinks we make the bed for him and now for us. In a way, in a way. But you need to lock no, it. No, 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 no. You've been out all morning. You've been out all morning. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, we're doing a s'mores board. Oh, yeah. Really? A smorgasbord? Board. Sorry, a smorgasbord. not a marshmallow board. A smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Is it perfect? It perfectly comes Two mouthfuls. Hey, so while you are cooking, Sean is gonna uh, install the parts that I ordered. <laughs> yeah, so this is what they sent, this igniter, mm -hmm. with this. It's amazing. Isn't that crazy? That's so good. It's wrapped from the regional flowers on the outside. Oh my that gosh. That is so good. Okay, you remember Brie. Hello. She was with us like two years ago. We made the big sky steak salad. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah, but it's just, it's gonna soak yeah. up into that farro and just be amazing. Yeah. That's great. Good? Yeah. Okay. But there is, I see, I should have known better. I should have been. No, 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 no. You, you are the gift. Did we bring the Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> We are getting ready for something that is on the summer to remember list for me. And it is to do a cookbook photo shoot because I am making a cookbook. And my friend Bree with Olive Valley is also making a cookbook. So we're teaming up to take pictures today. And I'm so excited. So the boys are cleaning up around here because we've got to take the rig out. And we're going to go park somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's a long or long wait, long or campground, Lenore, Lang, Lang, Langor campground. Langor campground. Yes. So anyway, Bree said that the mountains are beautiful. You can see the sky. There's a campfire. So we're going to like, we're going to have fun. We're yes. going to go out there. It's a boondocking situation. There's no electricity or anything. So we're like, Mark got us all ready. Oh, yeah. We have water. We've got power. And we have so much food for one photo shoot. <laughs> it's insane. We could stay there for a week. Yes. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm super excited. And we're trying to clean it up and live like, you know, like this is normal. But <laughs> this is not normal. We're doing a lot of cleaning to get it ready for people to see. Here, so. wait. Carson, wait, wait, wait. Carson, come wait. back. Carson, come back. Wait, what are you doing? You're lifting those up to wash? So just very carefully wipe them down with Windex inside. Very carefully. Here, let me make sure they're plugged in so you don't... There you go. Thank you. Nice. Okay. You don't want to do your little hopping method? <laughs> no, I remembered that Trish has this little step stool that she used to use in our toy hauler so that she could reach the cabinets, but we still kind of use this, but it's perfect for reaching those. Do you have your... Decorations. Yeah, I didn't want to leave them in there. <laughs> uh, it's only a 35-minute drive to the campground. Did you the get campground. those three pieces of wood in the truck? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I did. Yay! All right, we're just waiting for Caleb. He's going up to see if there's ice and firewood, and we're gonna head up to. Is that a little too tight? Should we go? Oh, oh we can't. I think it's good. Way. And we're gonna head up to the campground which we're excited about. And if you've been following along this season, Trish has been making a KYD quick guide to every destination we've been visiting. Mm -hmm. So we will definitely be making one for Bozeman. And there's no real decent RV park to speak of, but I think the dry camping and the campgrounds are fantastic. Yeah. So my recommendation is come into town, dry camp a couple nights. It's beautiful. Carson mm -hmm. and I went up to the college gym again. Mm -hmm. Stunning views, big sky Montana all the way. Yes. So anyway, we're gonna list places to eat, think campgrounds to stay at, hikes on the quick guide. So check it out. It'll probably be keepyourdaydream.com forward slash Bozeman. And then uh, we're gonna get up there and meet uh, the Thompsons, who you already know from previous episodes. Sit. Okay, here we go. Langor, Langor. Wow. Did you want to jump off that bridge with me? Okay, so I think. Wow. You might need to check my phone or check the text, the group text, because I think it's site 18. Hello! Hi! 
How's it going? Oh, yeah. hey, love seat. Little... Oh, you look good. <laughs> yeah. Is that a love seat camping chair? Shake. This is cool. the best camping chair ever. How are is you? Good. good. This is Lindsay. Hi, Hi Lindsay. Lindsay. Nice to meet you. Nice I've heard all about you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You see these kids in the back running and the dogs and everything? It's so cute. Like how it's cool like is this the site? Look at it. It's like a photo the the windows are like a photo shoot. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. That's can I go grab them? Yes. Yeah, agree. You can grab them. Let's grab them. Yes. Here I'll get This is probably mine. Yeah, this is mine. Oh, I've been waiting forever. You really have, like at least two months. Okay, that looks pretty cool, I must say. Ooh. Um yeah. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Let's see this thing. Thank you. Here, let me. I'm still trying to. Dude, that looks really cool. Wow. She's she's beautiful. Dude, there's so much to record, I don't even know where to go. You guys are inside the Airstream and then they're pulling out skateboards so and now you're over here setting the table. Yeah. I don't know where to go. I need two videographer people. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we brought a photographer. Yes. So you don't have to focus That's on that. That's good. This, my camera doesn't even know that it has a photo mode. I, I, I that's what I kind of thought. <laughs> Always occupied. Yeah, it really so, is. Yeah, the Turkish towel, that's not as big as this. No, so we can put this on like yeah. a little table. I have a little table. Oh, you got so, it. All right, you want to tell everyone about these electric skateboards and how, why, and everything? No, so really much to say other than the boys wanted something. They did, oh, this was part of our bike conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want bikes, they wanted electric skateboards. Normal electric skateboards were very, very expensive. These were a quarter of the price, but we had to wait two and a half months for them. So anyway, they're ecstatic. I mean, almost every day they ask me when they're coming. Every single day. Every single day. Yeah, they were about the price of their bikes. Less. They were less than their bikes, mm -hmm. and it's not sponsored by any means. No. But anyway, they're pretty. They're pretty excited about no, it. No, but they agreed to wear helmets. So. <laughs> All right. So, we discovered caravan mode, and when I say we, I mean Trish. And when I say Trish, I mean a Kate Woody Insider. <laughs> rode in after they saw us struggling with the awning in Estes and they said, you need to learn about caravan mode. So caravan mode is where you don't have to use the big bar in the middle and it's kind of, you can just undo these things and then these things, here I'll just show you by pulling it out. Do you want some help holding it down? Sean, would you mind uh, no, holding right. it? Look, look, I can go like this. Oh. Just okay. like that, just to hold it there. And then I just put these bars up Like that. You cannot believe how hard we struggled that's with that mode. before we learned about caravan mode. And then I go up like that. That's caravan mode. Isn't that simple? Simple. It just it's covers awesome. the windows. It's perfect. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? Eating? <laughs> Do we have to say more? What's the plan? The plan is we're going to make a full dinner and we're gonna document it. Mm. But tomorrow we're going to share a recipe with you. So tonight, right now, we're just, this is like food candy for the eyes. Gotcha. But tomorrow we'll give you something good that you can make at home. Yeah, well, these so are gonna be toast, so we don't want them huge. Cook. We just want them like, you So know, what you're like doing that. is you're helping Bring your dad. child to work day. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping Jack. I guess oh. I went a little overboard. Is this the tradition or is this a two burner? This is the Pro 60X. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's nice. Dude, these are gonna toast very fast, so we need to like. Do we need a. Thank you. <laughs> I'm pretending like this is how we always do it. <laughs> Okay, the yeah. toast is done. Where's my hat, everybody? <laughs> my hat. Napkins? <laughs> mm. good. Mm -hmm. And that was made in a camper. Room. Yes! <laughs> that was On made what? On a grill in a camper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could it do doesn't have to be super fancy. More rustic and just mix the ricotta with totally chopped basil. It doesn't have to be in a blender. Yeah, you yeah. really could. Mm -hmm. Just hand whip it. That's so good. <sighs> oh! 
this is like the perfect. Yeah. So the timing of this could not be any better because tonight we're dry camping and there's no electrical, there's no water, there's no anything here. In fact, there's no cell phone coverage too. So you should know that this campground is stunning. It's a must stop. But there's zero cell phone coverage. I ordered this from a Woodlands Airstream out of Grand Rapids. Their parts department is phenomenal. Their customer service is a 10. Anyhow, so this is the fix. Hopefully this is the fix to the water heater not working. It's the igniter. Because what I've discovered is that I do have propane going to the hot water heater, but it's not lighting. So I can light it with a match and it'll light, but Hopefully this fixes it. There was one more part that they should have sent, and maybe it's around here somewhere. I had all this sent, stuff sent to Sean's house, but it's like a fuse, and I just kind of, it's like an inline fuse. So Charlie, I'm hoping to get that figured out. Charlie, come. We'll see. Yeah, so this is what they sent, this igniter, mm -hmm. with this. Yep. So I just pull that out, and then place that in there with a single screw, Yep. and that might fix it. What Ken Dog, who owns that 33-foot Airstream, okay. uh -huh. Starlight Lounge, he thinks it's this. So I ordered one of these too. So all I have to do... Well, what is that? Well, it's like a little fuse, but I don't see that the fuse is broken. So that might not be it. So I ordered this and this. If those two parts don't work, then I'll replace the board. So you're gonna Hey, so while you are cooking, Sean is gonna uh, install the parts that I ordered. <laughs> Hey, Sean, Yeah. you know, What's if you have man? time, if you have time, I really could use some brackets made for that air horn. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I can plasma cut them now. Sean says he would love to go from the mud flap guy to the air horn guy, but he's got bids and, and things like that, so. <laughs> That's right, that's right. But I said like, what's, I mean, I know that's real work, but what's more important than the air horn? We've been talking about it forever. For years. For years. For years. Yeah. Right? You'll be my best friend. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, don't even screw it in all the way. Well, I guess you can, because I'll just yeah. keep it. I'll just, I'll just replace it regardless. This was like a, this was like a $19 igniter. Yeah. Well, look, if we don't do the air horns, you can always be the hot water guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Never will you be the Angleworks, Mon Montana no. Angleworks, amazing furniture steel guy. No. All right? that, no. Not on KYD. We don't, that, <laughs> that furniture is too heavy for us. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, see how that's, well, uh, it's got some buildup on there. Yeah. So you, you think that's a good place to do? Yeah. Well, if they gave you one. They did. Yeah. They did, but then I got to wire it into that little white piece there. Can you go switch on the propane hot water? No, oh, sure. It's trying to light. This is not going click, click, It's click. not going click, click, click. Yeah, but I'll bet it'll light with a match. Where's the board? You see that? Yeah. So now the only thing left to fix, was, so we change this, we change the igniter, the only thing left is the board. Or this. Well, or that. But we have hot water semi-manually. Oh, okay, so it's not like it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather not give it that. Yeah, I don't want to cut that out here. Well, we got s'mores and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got more important things to do than that. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? We're ready. I just keep asking and hoping. Yes, let's, let's commit. Let's do it. Commit to the food already. Here we go. We're eating. Plates. Thank you. Yeah. Thank well earned. Well earned. Sean's... Did you have steak already? You're all I good? I had the whole thing. Yeah, you the whole thing. This is so comfortable. You're liking this chair? I'm in. The chair is so nice. So here, hold on. Let How me... did you even discover this? It's amazing. What, what, well, we'll link to it. We'll link this. to it on Amazon. It's like a bucket seat. Just, How does it fold up? Would you mind just getting it up just and folding like it? It just goes like this. Can we see it? Can we see a Did, demo? Isn't this enough? No, I need to see it. I would so have well, to get up. Let's get a B-roll real quick. Come on. Nope. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like a normal chair. Mark. Wow. For only $5.99. Yeah, this is, this is pretty and nice. And if it's just you, it doesn't tip over or do anything weird. Ouch. Yeah, no, this is good. This is good. It's like a little camping love seat. That's exactly yeah, what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Big cup yeah. holders too. And it folds up nicely. I like that. And Charlie unfortunately is not using his bed cot anymore. We have room if we ditch Charlie's bed cot, we have room for this. So done and done. Ooh, I see that's good. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, take that out. Take that out.
you remember Brie. Hello. She was with us like two years ago. We made the big sky steak salad. And if you mm. haven't tried it, you will see the video up here and you have to make it immediately because mm. it will change your life. It's so good. <laughs> so good. So good. So good and so fast in one pan. Yep. So today we are not even going to use a pan. Today we are in the Olive Valley kitchen and we are making like a variety of things because as we mentioned previously and maybe not, we're making a cookbook. KYD is making a cookbook. And yep. today we're going to give you one of the recipes that's going to be in the book. A jalapeno bowl that you can bring out hiking, you can add chicken to it and make it a full dinner. But this is like something that you can bring on the road with you. You can have it in your fridge ready to go for when you pull over in your RV. Yeah. And you can eat it. It's good. It's, it's ready to go. just as good as leftovers. Yes. Yeah. That always helps. So that's what we're doing. Are you ready, Mark? I'm totally ready. We have farro that we made in our Instant Pot on the rice setting, unless you have a grain setting, but you could use that too. We used avocado oil, we used some garlic paste, we used some salt. You gotta add the flavor from the beginning and then stack that flavor. And then we're gonna come on over here to all the goodies. We have jalapeno, we have peppers, we have green onions, a little tiny bit of, we might even just use half of this, of the colorful onion, red onion. I'm using salted cashews. I have mint, which is like your secret weapon in so many dishes. Snap peas, we're gonna use this lime juice in our dressing. We have cilantro and feta. Now, I know we've all seen regular feta, but it's time to explore your horizons with feta. There are all different kinds and they're smooth and creamy and still salty. So this one is a goat feta and I'm really excited to use it for the first time, but explore. Once you start getting bases, start exploring with different levels of flavor with the same ingredients that you're used to using in a different way. We're gonna go ahead and make the dressing now for this amazing grain bowl. Um, Obviously, not everyone has the Olive Valley ingredients, but like we said, we're in the Olive Valley kitchen, so let's go ahead and, and maximize the flavor as much as possible, but we'll yes. definitely give substitutes so that you can make this every day if you would like. So we're gonna start with some avocado oil. We're gonna do about equal portions of fat to acid. So basically about half a cup of the avocado oil. And then, like Trish said, if you're at the grocery store and you're getting limes, lime juice, half a cup of lime juice. We're gonna actually really make this a special dressing today. We're gonna do half a cup of jalapeno lime balsamic vinegar. I could drink this. This stuff's amazing. We <laughs> have been so putting this good. in margaritas. Oh! It okay, now we're talking. The best margarita okay, ever. Okay, now we're but talking. But it's not overly spicy, mm -hmm. um, it, but then with the balsamic, it has a nice sweetness to it and the nice zestiness of the um, lime in there also. Yes. So it's just, it's kind of a flavor explosion. It's a flavor bomb. <laughs> so equal parts fat and acid. So yeah, some people, it, traditionally dressings are like two parts olive oil, one part citrus yeah. or acid. I don't like that. I, I like, like punch. I like the vinegar or the lime juice or citrus juice at the same time as well. So I like yeah. more of the acid also. I think it adds a lot more flavor. Mm -hmm. um, plus it honestly, it's a, it's probably better for you because you're not adding as much oil. We already get plenty of oil. <laughs> well, we get plenty of oil because we yeah. cook with a lot of oil. Yes. But <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna add just a touch of honey. I'm gonna add a little bit less here. Um, if you're doing lime juice, you're probably gonna need a touch more. The white balsamic has a natural sweetness to it, so we don't wanna go overboard. And then some salt. Of course. Um, if all you have is kosher salt, go for it. Mm -hmm. Although, if you have lime salt, this will knock your socks off. Yes! Because it's like a burst of lime in yeah. the salt. Um, again, sweet smoked chili rub. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of sweet smoked chili rub. If you don't have this ingredient, chili powder mm -hmm. and garlic. Yep. A little bit more. Yeah, I don't even know if we need that garlic paste. That's I don't know like either. if you're making it with just lime and olive oil. Yeah. I think this right here, this is so flavorful. It makes the best meat too. Oh my but gosh. Yeah. And dressing. And if you want to take this bowl from vegetarian, it is not vegan because we're adding cheese, but if you want to take it from vegetarian to yummy, yeah, yeah, yeah. have a little side of meat, you can use this. Season the chicken with Season that. Season the chicken oh, with this. So good. So good. Yeah, chicken, pork, yeah, whatever kind of meat you really want on it. Mm -hmm. So we'll shake our dressing. Let's go ahead and taste it. Favorite part. Oh wow, pretty good. That's really good. Perfect. I don't think it needs. I don't think it needs more garlic. Mm -hmm. And then you get a little bit of heat from the sweet smoked chili rub on the back. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start assembling the bowl, but you might be hearing the sizzling of some yummy chicken over there because 
the crew got restless. Everybody wanted some meat. <laughs> so you can add your favorite meat. We just used avocado oil, yeah. some more of the, I just call it like fiesta lime, but it's, <laughs> I'm like, it's fiesta <laughs> time, baby. Um, jalapeno lime. There. Balsamic? Yeah, and sweet smoked chili rub and lime salt. Season it up and what Yeah, so we're gonna slice that and put it on the top. But right now we're gonna show you, this is as easy as layering the different chopped veggies and so you said it best all of this is chopped quicker than you can ever cook your farro yeah. so you could have this on your table in like 15 minutes easily easy yeah. if you're using an instant pot yeah okay so look at that prettiness oh, so okay. exciting you did that. We, we all, this, we is, all a, did this is a think tank That's going totally on here. Verde chopped bowl. A verde chopped bowl. Verde chopped bowl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Mark wants his own little bowl. So here you go, Mr. With a little Leech. chicken? Because yeah, I'm tasting everything. We only cook the chicken. All right, so <laughs> tell everyone where to get it. <laughs> Uh, where can they get it, Mark? What do you think? KeeperDadrian.com forward slash... Verde Chopped Bowl? We'll just call it the Verde Chop. The Ooh, Verde Chop. The Verde Chop. The Verde Classy. Chop. Mm -hmm. The Verde Chop. I gotta go write it down. <laughs> like, I need to dance to this. <laughs> the Verde Chop. I need to bring Colby to do a little yes. dance. Okay, we're over here at Sean's shop, Man Montana Angle Works, and he, I got a text from Sean last night. They say, hey, if you want to pop over with yeah, air horn stuff, just come Friday afternoon. My guys leave noon and Friday and we'll and we'll knock it out. So I'm like, yeah. So we're over here at Montana Angle Works and I'm gonna back into a shop and uh, we're gonna get up under there and we're gonna try to find a place for this 23 inch Grover air horn and uh, see if we can make some brackets. So that, because that was the issue is it's all pre-wired. I got the air going back there, everything's good, but I need to make some brackets so that it fits. Does that make sense? Well, let's see. So where's the, what, what's it tie into? Right that, here. That, the black cross member? Yeah, the black cross member. Yep. Screw right into that. And, and then, then this one goes into this other cross member right up here. Yep. And if you ever need to take it off, you just unbolt it from this end and the whole thing has room to slide oh, forward. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, that's great. Right above the drive shaft. Yep. Right along the fuel tank. Yep. And so nothing's gonna yeah, like I think no it's bugs, gonna no dirt, nothing's gonna get into it. Yeah, and then if I'm not mistaken, right there, I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but that yellow, that yellow wire right there with the little oh, yeah. cap on it, that's that's the. So then we need some wires then too. Sean's got it all hooked up. We got the air horn mounted. Mm -hmm. We ran the air line to the tank. Mm -hmm. We ran the electrical. We grounded the electrical, and then we ran one of the wires over to the existing pre-wired to the because when we were cliss welding, we installed it all. We pre-wired to upfitter switch number two. Anyway, so right now we're gonna flip on the air compressor because we emptied out the tank. And then we're gonna fill the air compressor. Okay. And then once the air compressor stops filling, and it's yeah. full, 150 PSI is when uh -huh. it shuts off. And then we're gonna hit upfitter number two. Because this, this air compressor is fast and it, it takes a while to fill. There we go. There it goes. All right, All so right. this is real, the moment of truth. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I have no responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting? I have, I have my Instagram video oh, waiting. Oh, man, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. You are? Yeah, a little bit. No. Here, can I know, you? I know. <sighs> Sean's saying maybe we should have tested it before the camera, but I think this is good. All right, so I don't really know. No. Well, wait a second. No. So, well, maybe we gotta reverse the wires. Think so. Well, what else could it be? Try it again. Try it again? Yeah. All right, take two, let's hear it. Bang. I feel kind of bad you're right under there, Sean, if it does work. No. Plug your ears. You want me to leave it on? And then when you get, when the wires get hot, we'll know? Well, I don't have yeah, it's on. It works. <laughs> what not to do? <laughs> what was it under there? 
Just the wasn't the connection wasn't tight. We we're just the connection was loose because we we're just testing it rather than. Yeah, so maybe we should crimp it then. Oh yeah, it wasn't crimped. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is fabulous. I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it on this. Like, I kind of like, I kind of like that you have to reach up for the horn, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because if I flip that and the relay goes and then I honk this, that's cool. But there's something about like, kind of like this, where you reach up there to honk it. I'll tell you something. What's that? I am such a good dad. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, wow, <laughs> wow. I mean, the things I do. I'm sure there's something wrong with the that. The things okay, I yes. do for the boys is, uh -huh. I, I mean, could anyone be any more selfless, really? <laughs> really? Let's ask really? them. Really? Let's ask them. Question mark. <laughs> really? <laughs>